CAD system. In this video, I'll explain the option slide curve joint in CATIA V5 DMU kinematics. See, what does this slide curve joint option do? How can we simulate by using this option? Only this option we can't apply for a parts. We need to use the combination of point curve joint and slide curve joint. It requires a assembly of two parts. For that, I go to assembly, assembly design and I call parts and I apply constraints because the part should be tangentially fixed. In that case, as we have a constraint option in assembly, I opened assembly workbench. After that, we can move to dynamic uh, kinematic kinematics existing component product this is the first part I fix this part so on this part along this surface or top surface or path we may call as a path if we want to slide one part on this path, on this track, we use slide curve joint. So first I fixed the base part, the first part. I go for existing component product. I called another part. I move this by using manipulation option, Z translation. X translation, Y translation, then this surface should be tangential to this surface. For that, I coincide C. The thickness for both parts are thickness same, and this point so. I created two points on this part so that we can coincide this point to this path. For this base part, we need to project the edge by using project 3D element option in Sketcher. While creating this part, select this surface, go to Sketch, go to Sketch and use this option. Then a curve, a guide curve will be projected onto the edge. So both sides you need to extract edge that by using a project 3D element then get that part into assembly. I move this parts again I get I get back to assembly workbench then I fix it this part now I go to coincidence I select this point and this point. It is not tangential. We can check. See, I rotate this Y rotation. See, so to we need to place this surface exactly onto this surface tangentially. So I again go for a coincidence. I select this part and we have a point here. See. Then get back to kinematics, DMU kinematics. We can either keep these constraints or we can also delete a constraint by right click on that delete. Even though if you won't delete that, we can apply simulation joints, kinematic joints, but in some cases. Uh, it shows error that uh, you can't apply this joint the assembly is over constrained in that case right click and delete right now I am not deleting the constraints I opened kinematics go to start digital mockup DMU kinematics 
did here apply new mechanism for that we have to select fixed part new mechanism go for ok select this part so here you can see the fixed part then i apply first to roll joint see even though we have to apply slide curve joint and also we need to apply not roll curve joint sorry point curve joint i select point curve joint here curve one curve one means you need to select we have to select the entire see projected element see like this if you directly select this only that line will be getting selected so do select see here when you select on to that point then the entire curve got selected click select and point is this point keep this option length driven on then go for ok then get into slide curve joint curve one it has to select select on the point so that the total curve got selected curve two this circular edge now still you can't simulate because we did not get any message that you can simulate like that and we need to apply another slide curve joint slide curve joint curve 1 curve 2 this one curve 1 is the edge on the part curve 2 is this circular edge on this part like this we need to apply three joints uh, for this we can see here application mechanism here it should be mechanism should be degree of freedom e is shown zero then open this joints you can see one point curve joint another slide curve joint another slide curve point curve is uh, this point the point on this part and this path whereas slide curve again this path and the circular edge one side and the slide curve the other side path and the other side circular edge like this we need to apply three joints then go to simulation option see here here we have simulation select mechanism then go for ok then see here move this tab see like this draw the path it slides it won't roll it slides so to cover the entire path then we need to increase this distance here i get select reset i cancel this simulation mechanism go for ok then here 631 i enter some 631 1100 distance then you can see see here like this 1100 is more then go for insert insert then reduce its speed change this i change to 0 0.01 then i go for play see like this so 1100 mm as we have given at up to 1100 mm distance it slides and stops then here i change the loop mode i select the second option here you need to keep one one round one full round as it is a selected se second option it is in second option i go for play so come to its comes to its initial point and it slides in the reverse direction see like this if you don't want straight and reverse 
if you want continuously slides along the part then here i pause this select the third option in it in it change loop mode select that then play see like this it slides in only one direction see like this then go for ok then you can see under application mechanism you can see joints joints you can see the three joints minimize then come into simulation if you want to again do simulation then double click on that then play reduce the speed see like this so this is the option slide curve joint in dmu kinematics thank you for watching this video for more videos share and subscribe imperial cat system